the organization ISIS, ISIS, also known as the Organization of Monotheism and Jihad, or Al-Qaeda of Iraq, or the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, or ISIL, or the Islamic State of Iraq and Al-Sham, or just the Islamic State. This word on the face of mankind originally erupted in 1999 and has been festering in its various forms since then. It is a self-proclaimed caliphate. Created by the CIA, Mossad, MI6, and other governmental organs of violence and deception who foment death, devastation, and mayhem in the Middle East. What is a caliphate, you may ask? It is a movement that employs a jihad or holy war, including uncontrolled torture, murder, rape, and general hostility to install the proper person to be Mohammed's successor. The person, currently thought by ISIS to be the caliph, is Ibrahim Samurai, or Abu Bakir al-Baghdadi. Or is it Abu Musab al-Zakari? Or is it Abu Abdullah al-Rashid al-Baghdadi? Who's your daddy? The controlled media in the West claim that ISIS is a radical band of religious fundamentalists independent of any government that suddenly sprang out of nowhere, completely unnoticed by all of the world's security agencies, while they were busy reading your emails and examining kitty pictures on Facebook. <coughs> this ragtag band of extremists suddenly coagulated into an organization that threatens the peace and stability of all the world's nuclear superpowers, including the US, Israel, Great Britain, France, and many others, each with billion-dollar military budgets. How is this possible? The answer is simple. It can't. It couldn't. It doesn't. This monster, currently killing, raping, and terrorizing thousands per day, gets some money from private donors around the world, funneled through Kuwait, a U.S. ally. It received a great deal of its arms by way of Libya, through U.S. allies Turkey and Jordan, remember Benghazi? And, of course, gets a constant delivery of light arms, directly from the CIA airlifts. The bottom line, however, is that there are at least six major groups that teased ISIS into existence, nursed it to maturity, and currently support, train, and arm this worldwide menace. Those are Israel, NATO, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and of course the United States. The current purpose of ISIS is to destabilize the governments of the Middle East, steal the resources of those countries, and create the fear porn needed to persuade the world population to accept a system of slavery whereby mankind will be forced to bow to a satanic force called the New World Order. Israel in 1982 laid out a plan where Greater Israel will cover most of the Middle East, and it needs ISIS to destabilize its neighbors to get the job done. NATO wants to create the New World Order and must destabilize Russia and the Middle East to do so. It can do this by creating lawless states of chaos that will pose no resistance to its plan for a project called the Islamic Pipeline to steal the natural gas business away from Russia. To impose the New World Order, the criminal force that controls the U.S. government publicly stated that they want to invade and topple the governments of most of the Middle Eastern countries within a short period of time. Libya and Iraq are easy, but Syria and Iran are not. The American, British, and European people are tired of war. So how can the psychopaths in charge of the West covertly topple the Syrian government while at the same time keeping the public distracted with fear porn? Easy. Enter ISIS. This head-chopping, terrorist attack threatening collection of jihadis is the perfect answer to a sticky problem. In Syria, Al-Qaeda the organization, blamed for over 3,000 American deaths during 9-11, are our new allies fighting to destabilize the Assad regime. But they wouldn't get the job done alone. So, now joined with ISIS, the other Frankenstein monster from the West, the U.S. has an excuse to drop bombs all over Syrian women and children. After all, the Syrian government must topple quickly to keep on schedule before the bulk of the population of the planet wake up to what is going on and put an end to the satanic force that currently has mankind living a life of death, violence, depravity, and separation. The moral of the story is that when you see the beheadings, the shootings, the mass graves, and read of the slaughter of women and children in the Middle East, when the mainstream media tells you that ISIS is coming to get you and your family, remember that as scary as it is, it is supported by your government. How can we stop ISIS? Simple. Stop funding it. Stop supplying it with arms.